When former Panama City employee Michael Johnson stole funds from the city, he purchased homes that he rented out. Now that he's behind bars, the city has to sell those properties in order to return the money to an after school assistance program. Tonight, as News 13's Alex Schley tells us, the city is working with those tenants who are now caught in the middle. It is the city's responsibility. What the city is going to do? I want to know. Some Bay County residents feel that by selling the homes purchased by stolen funds, their lives are being upended now that the city has to sell those properties. Panama City, Florida, want to put people out on a low income budget. They don't have nowhere to go. Where they go for here now? You know, they're on the fixed income. A fixed income is like seven, eight hundred dollars. Nobody can not afford. 14 and $2,000 a month rent. Melvin Hatcher's mother lives in one of the 11 properties that Johnson purchased. I want to know what are we going to stay 850 strong? Uh, what are we going to do with the people that y'all putting out the houses? In order to replace the funds Johnson took, the city had to sell the homes on the auction block. We've got to liquidate these properties in order to make those accounts whole. Panama City Commissioner Janice Lucas says Johnson took the money from an after school program and it has to be returned. The after school assistance program is offered by the city um, as an after school program oh, for students, uh, primarily in the Glenwood community. And um, through this, they are able to get the tutoring and additional uh, educational and experiential opportunities uh, to help them become better learners and to grow. Commissioner Josh Street says the city is working with the tenants to make the moving process as seamless as possible. The other thing that we've added since our last few meetings is we added a $5,000 relocation assistance should they want to leave um, and move someplace else that'll help with deposits and making sure that their families are unaffected by it. In Panama City, Alex Schley, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Tenants have until next April to move out. Michael Johnson was sentenced to eight years in prison for that embezzlement scandal.